care of the nozzles. Every day. Do your purge. See how it goes. You know, if they're not, you know, if they're not sticking up on you, don't waste the corn. If it's yeah. a blizzard. You know, you know, play it by ear. Yeah. Paint, let's not get too crazy. Yeah. yeah. We won't tell crap so. to do it every day. <laughs> Do you want me to grab her? Can you? Yeah. No. You just got to fill me in. Okay. The next okay. thing is adding color. <laughs> well, I was keeping okay. notes. Good old fashioned. That's here under fill. Um, that's really the only two places you're going to be going in maintenance is fill and purge. Okay. Okay. And fill is when you're going to add the color, you're saying? Yep. So you pick your color, and it gives you a little picture of the canister. And that's how much it's at right now? Yep. Could right. we fit another one in there? Well, it'll hold three quarts, and, and there's, there's less than two okay. in there. So yes. And they come in one quart containers? Okay. Yes, they do. Um, so, here's how it works. You tell it what you put in, it subtracts what it puts out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now think about how you can mess that up. Okay. If you put in a quart and you don't tell it, no big deal. Machine's got a quart more than it thinks it has. Okay. If you come in here and tell it you put a quart in and then you get distracted by a customer and you don't put that quart in, the machine now thinks it has a quart more than it really has. And the whole reason for this system is so that you don't ruin paint. So that if it gets down so low that you've got only six ounces of white and your five gallon container is calling for eight ounces of white, two shots of raw umber and three shots of magenta, if it doesn't have enough of any one of those colors, it's going to stop you and say, you've got to add coloring. But if you don't tell it when you add it, or you tell it and you don't add it, it messes the whole thing up, okay? And you don't have to use it, okay? You can do this and just look at the level if you want to. You can skip all of this and just see if you got enough every day. How far down does it go, roughly? This is as far as that thing he pulled out, right? About here. These aren't really large. I mean, they're, they're three liters, so that's two. There's two in there now. So that's two thirds full. And what you see right there. Where's the rest of the color at? Okay. And we got enough or no? But if you want to use this, you know. The colorant is purchased from Do It Best? Uh, so we can get rid right of yeah. the warehouse, yeah. can't we? Okay. So, um, so here's what you would do uh, I need some. I'm going to put in a quart of yellow oxide. I click in this field, it says a mountain quart. I put one. It says, press enter, and your little cartoon canister fills right up, okay? There isn't really one in there, so I put minus one, okay? I can add, this, this system here is pretty nice because you can add, you can subtract an ounce and four, uh, what am I trying to say? A quart and four ounces. You know, it'll do fractions. Which I just used to get it right. So that's, as far as filling, that's it. You just pick the one you're working on. Well, they're all at 1.811. Can you make the other one that way? Huh? They're all at 1.811. I think you've only got 1.8. Oh. No, they... It's just as high close up. It depends on how much I dispensed out gotcha. to calibrate it. Nope. No. No. Okay. In this software, okay, we're moving on. That's the end of maintenance and filling. We're moving on to software. Okay. Uh, in this setup, you can come to formula book. Let's go back to main. You got the only two you're going to use are dispense and maintenance, okay? We're just in maintenance. Agitate, it does auto automatically.
all night long, all by itself. Okay, so you'll almost never come in here and want to agitate. So really, in here you're only going to go to fill and purge and dispense. Um, and this is where it gets a little weird. You do have your do it best formulas in this software here. Okay? You can manually dispense. Uh, you can create a custom formula. But the important one is this tab and this setup. And this is where you set this software to receive information from over here. Um, the reason you wouldn't manually dispense here is because we set the printer up to this computer. This computer doesn't have a printer or else you could manually dispense from here. We only had one printer <coughs> and we wanted to put it on the one where you're going to modify formulas and do color matching so that you could print a label for the result of your color match. And really, even though you have your do it best formulas in here and you can search for a card either by number or by name in this software uh, and then you know, made all these choices for me. Looks like that's the only one it'll make. <coughs> so, but you could then just come in here and you can dispense your formula. From here, you'd have a can under there, just like the purge. It asks you to put the container under there. Click dispense, and out it comes. And it'll dispense. But nothing's going to happen unless this is pushed back, correct? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Don't count on it. <laughs> so if you hit dispense, you'll start pouring out? No, it won't. It's not supposed to. But it, the sensor has failed on occasion. Okay. So make sure you got something under there. So, most of the time, you're going to have this machine on this tab here, okay? <clears throat> I'm not going to go through, like, modifying formulas and manual dispensing on this one because you're not going to be doing it unless you have this whole thing changed somehow. We'll just pretend we're never going to have it changed. Let's keep going. I, you know, I, I really don't think you're going to. Okay. I think it's, it's going to stay this way. I'm pretty okay. sure. Okay. So, what we basically have here is really this computer that's running this dispenser is a slave to this one over here, okay? And here, you're going to be using x rights Color Designer software to look up and manage all your do-it-best formulas. This is also where you're going to color match from. This is... Right now, this is where you're going to look up formulas. You've got your Do It Best database in here. You can put in, and again, I'm not an expert on this software. I just asked it to give me all the reds. Okay, there's a berry red. It asks you all these.